dream about the Africa that we want to save, the Africa that we all love. I found out that there is no president in Africa that is interested in the cure for AIDS. Not one. No, I'm sorry. Only one. I'm not going to name the country because I may jeopardize the country. Because the one thing I learned, that when you begin to talk favorable about a country or individual, they're going to soon get him. <laughs> that is a fact. So I cannot talk about the country that said to Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi, whenever you want to return to Africa and begin this new empire, you have 5,000 acres of land and six hot springs. I don't need anything else. Hot springs? Five hot springs with 5,000 acres of land? We could grow food. We could make the best dress. I said, sir, I am not going to come to your country unless I'm able to grow marijuana. He said, marijuana? <laughs> he said, wait just a minute. He said, I can't do this. I said, sir, I am not going to come to your country unless I'm able to grow marijuana. He said, marijuana? <laughs> he said, wait just a minute. He said, I can't do that. I said, well, the compounds I've been giving your nephew that had that was autistic, that now is talking was marijuana. And as for you is concerned, when I came here, you weren't walking. You were dying. Now you're running up the steps in the presidency. Yes, marijuana. That's a God's product. That's not cigarettes. You see what happened? My brother used to smoke cigarettes, but my brother didn't know that the tobacco that he was smoking was artificial. God didn't make that. But marijuana, God did make that. So it must have been a good reason why I was told in school that everything God made is good. Well, I know that. I live that. And I always will smoke it for as long as I live. Why? Because I have that right. I have that right. It's not everybody that uses it from autism to arthritis is cured because everything that God made is good. So as I go to Africa, all happy, <laughs> I, I came back with my tail between my legs because 